So Bazite gives us Windows handheld owners all of the benefits of SteamOS, like an amazing console-like experience and also true sleep and resume functionality. Here are the top 10 tips to really make the most out of Bazite, including an absolutely crucial one. And these tips work with the RG Ally, Ally X, Legion Go and indeed all Windows-based handhelds that have Bazite installed on. So as we start, I assume we've already fully set up Bazite. And if you haven't done so, then I've done a full, super easy step-by-step -step guide link below. So for tip one is how we bring up the Bazite menu, technically called Handheld Daemon. Wow, don't you just love these crazy names in tech, eh? To bring up the quick Bazite menu, we simply press the Armory Crate two times quickly, which gives us access to a couple of settings right here on the right. And to bring up the main Bazite menu, we press the Armory Crate button three times quickly. And this gives us the full amount of options that we can then choose from. Tip two is to make sure that we're fully up to date with system updates. And there are two areas for this. First, let's triple press the Armory Crate button for the main Bazite menu, head into the Updates tab, and it tells us here which image that we're on and I'm on the stable release. And also the current, previous, and also if new updates are available, so we just press apply update to make sure that Bazite is up to date. And the second area is in SteamOS. So just click on the cog at the top if a system update is available like here and just click apply to make sure that we're fully up to date. Tip three is how to report any bugs that we come across. So let's press the Armory Crate button three times, head into the Boog report, which I think means bug report. Yes, and here we can submit a report to the amazing developers, which are called Universal Blue, to make Bazite the very best and bug free as possible. Tip four is how we can change the Bazite theme. So let's triple press the Armory Crate button, head into settings at the bottom. Here the default is this lovely purple system theme and Diavolo is a garish yellow. Atlantis is a really nice ocean blue color. Vapor is a pretty nice aqua blue. And Blood Orange is, um, ish. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna stick to the default. Tip five is to make sure you have something called Decky Loader installed. As when we press the Army Crate button once and head to the Decky Loader plugin menu, the bottom, guys, these totally transform SteamOS to the absolute next level. And I've done a whole setup guide and seven essential plugins that you must install. I'll leave a link below and I'll go through three of these right now. The first plugin is called Vibrant Deck and setting this to the full 200 honestly tricks our brains to make us think that we have an OLED display. On our Ally X, it is just so, so good. The second is called CSS Loader. I use the Art Hero theme and this plugin completely transforms the whole look and feel of SteamOS. Our Windows handheld truly does now feel like a console, kind of like a Switch Pro of sorts. And the third plugin is called SteamGrid DB. As now when we press the start button on a game, then go to change artwork, there are incredible alternative artworks that we can now select from. Ooh, this looks quite good. Ah, very nice. I like it a lot. Tip six is how to add shortcuts. So tap the Army Crate button three times, then head into the shortcuts area. And yes, there are a plethora of shortcuts, including touchscreen gestures that we can add to change right here if we're really into this. Tip seven is how to add a manual fan curve. So let's triple press the Army Crate button, make sure we're in the TDP section, scroll down slightly to the custom fan curve, which is disabled by default, tap on this to select a manual, and here we can adjust the fan curves if we want to. Let us know in the comments which fan curves that you prefer. And now let's head to our most important final three tips. So we're in the final top three Bazite tips now. And to change the RGB lighting around the thumbsticks, let's triple press the Army Crate button, head into the RGB tab, and there's some really cool RGB modes that we can choose from here. Like Pulse is pretty neat. Rainbow, we have two, and I think I'm just gonna stick with the default spiral. Here we can lower the brightness if we find it a little bit too much. Regular viewers know I absolutely love the full on brightness of these, so I'm gonna stick it to high. We can change the speed if we want to. High is a bit distracting, so I'm gonna to stick to medium. And finally, we can change the direction of the flow of lights from either left or right. 
tip nine is one of our most used features, which is booting back into Windows if we have a dual boot setup like I have. And I used to press the Steam button, then power and restart, and hold down the down volume button to enter the BIOS. Now there is a boot to Windows script online available. Let me know if you want me to make a specific vid on this. But to be honest, I just find it so easy to simply triple press the Army Crate button, then to general, then simply reboot into Windows, which is just so easy to do. And the final tip relates to TDP and its shortcuts. So triple press the Army Crate button, make sure we're in the TDP section, make sure this change TDP with view Y option is enabled as I think it's off by default. And now when we hold down the top left button and also the Y buttons together, we can now swap between the red 10 watt silent mode, purple is the 15 watt performance mode, blue is the 25 watt or if plugged in 30 watt turbo mode, and the white is the manual mode that we've set in this section right here. And this is so crucial to know this and to swap easily between them to save battery life, for example. So changing to the red silent mode is great for all of our old school retro games and we get an insane 8 to 10 hours battery life on the Ally X. And the purple performance mode is great for like Switch emulation and older games. Let us know your Bazite tips in the comments below. If you haven't already, I would love it if you could hit the like button if this helped you and also subscribe to the Pete Talks Tech YouTube channel to be among the very first to get these tutorials. And as a thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. Distance is my new answer to disrespect. I no longer react, I no longer argue, I no longer dive into drama, I simply remove my presence. Man, there is so much stress and drama all around us. Life is simply too short to get drawn into family and work situations that can adversely affect our mental health. So simply keep our distance and stay encouraged today, guys. And if you are ready to take the plunge and install Bazite, then click the top right or find out how Bazite transforms our Ally or Ally X into a kind of a Steam Deck Pro on the bottom right. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.